Hello everyone, my name is Nestor and I'm with Everglades Technologies and today I'm going to demonstrate how to create your own keyboard shortcuts. Um, what this is going to do is essentially allow you to customize a command to initialize a program or bring up a file of your choice. Um, keyboard shortcuts essentially uh, allows and many users to, to remain productive, um, whether if it's you know, to start up a program that they use for their daily operations, or even if it's to start a program of, um, you know, of, of their leisure. Um, a typical keyboard shortcut that we all use um, is the copy-paste. Now, the copy-paste is essentially the Control-C to copy and the Control-V to paste. Um, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to be using iTunes. Now, um, the reason behind creating the keyboard shortcuts is uh, often there are times where uh, there's a program that you may want to use or that you seldom use um, that may be or may not be readily accessible for you. For instance, um, if I wanted to, if, if I didn't have the iTunes icon up on my desktop, I'd have to go to start. I'd notice that it's not on my start list. I'd have to go to all programs, select the iTunes file. Uh, once that file opens, I'd have to select the iTunes application from this area here. So it becomes, after a while, it becomes a bit tedious. So uh, I'm hoping by the end of this demonstration, that um, I can help anyone remain productive or you know impress their friends or colleagues what have you um, so let's start first step would be to you know right click on an icon or a file of your choice again for the sake of this demonstration we're going to use iTunes simply right click on the icon select properties and once you're in properties, uh, direct yourself to the shortcut key here. Notice how it says none, obviously because we don't have a keyboard shortcut to initialize this program. I tend to like the control alt combination since that's pretty much the first thing I remember when creating a combination. Um, I'm going to use control alt and select I, I for iTunes of course. Next step would be to click apply, then OK. And whenever you're ready, hit the Control Alt plus I key simultaneously. And that should initialize the iTunes program. And there you have it. Now, what we've done is essentially minimize the time of searching for this application, less time using a mouse, hands remained on the keyboard, and uh, you know we brought up a program of our choice. Um, once again, my name is Nestor Mejias. Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment and subscribe to our email blasts uh, or go to our website, www.etny.net for more information. Um, once again, Nestor Mejias signing off. Thanks for watching. Thank you.